Hey, what's up, everyone? Gamer Guide Seven Ace is here. Oh, and it's a Gamer Guide, not Gamer Guy. I don't know why some people still call me Gamer Guy. It's Gamer Guide, like a guide. That's why there's a D in the end. It's not Gamer Guy D. But anyway, I digress. How are y'all doing today? Uh, I want to talk about Team Sonic Racing in this video, and uh, I know a lot of you guys are going to read the title and be like, What? You gotta play the game first, Gamer Guide. First, watch the video, understand what I'm saying. Now, I've made only like three videos on Team Sonic Racing thus far, uh, besides like the pre-hype before the trailer dropped. The first one was when I was excited comparing the gameplay to Sonic Heroes type of gameplay, like, you know, the speed type characters, the flight skill characters and the power characters. And uh, yeah, then my second video was me defending the game, saying the blind hatred of TSR needs to stop. Because I remember it was around the summer, right before E3, a lot of people were just trashing on the game. No, it was right after E3, saying, oh, it's going to be bad, it's going to suck, it's nothing, the wisps are back. And I'm like, yo, you guys need to stop prejudging this game. I mean, it's made by Sumo Digital. Have they ever made a bad Sonic racing game or Sonic sport game? Even their tennis, Sega All-Stars Tennis, which looked lame, still did really good. It got like a 78 or 79% in Metacritic. So I defended that. A lot of people supported that video. And my third video was just a rumor about, you know, potential levels dropping, you know, those usual stuff. Now this video, I hate to eat my words because I did defend this game, but I'm going to be honest because I like to be honest with you guys. I don't like being fake or lying just to please people, but Team Sonic Racing is kind of looking underwhelming now. It's looking very underwhelming and a tad mediocre. I mean, it looks I, it's all right. Like I'm saying, it most likely will be a solid racer. You know, it's, it's going to be a good, I'm not saying it's going to be a garbage game, I'm not saying it's going to be bad or like Sonic Forces, it looks like it's going to be a solid racer, but it doesn't look like it's going to be better than Sonic and All-Stars Racing Transformed, and shouldn't the next racing game from Sumo Digital be hype? Shouldn't that be another evolution? I mean, we went from All-Stars Racing, which was quite simple, to Transformed. How are they going to now digress, downscale, and go to Team Sonic Racing, which the mechanic, the idea sounds great. Team mechanics and your racing. I've, I've never played a game like that in a long time. I don't know. I should be more amped for this, but I'm just not. And here are my problems. I'm going to explain why. And uh, it's not just the marketing and stuff. I'm going to get to that later. But the racetracks, you know, I don't like to repeat myself from Sonic Forces, but the racetracks just look too linear like they're just wide open spaces and there's some curves and all that you know it's there's minimal alternate pathways very minimal i know we've only seen three racetracks so far but i'm getting the i'm just judging from what i'm seeing getting the general idea of these racetracks and they look way too linear and the alternate pathways are almost superficial you just go on this alternate pathway do a trick and it leads you right back to the main course now, I know Mario Kart 8 had these, but Mario Kart 8 had a lot of nooks and crannies, had a lot of alternate pathways as well. It's a racetrack, so everyone is still going to meet the same end goal. But still, you got to have some variation to these racetracks, you know, can't be looking like a NASCAR racing game. You know, this is not a, I'm not playing NASCAR or Gran Turismo. It didn't, and I know a lot of you guys are like, this isn't All-Stars Racing Transform Gamer Guide, it's Team Sonic Racing. I know, I know that. I'm not expecting it to be. I'm not, I'm just totally cool with Sonic only characters and all that. But why didn't they carry the transform mechanics? And before you guys type in the comments, Mario Kart did that the same way as well. Mario Kart 7 started the whole gliding and the underwater driving mechanics. It carried that over to Mario Kart 8 and it evolved with that. Started having the zero gravity racing. That was the main gimmick for Mario Kart 8, but you still kept the gliding in the air, you know, driving underwater, swimming. All. It didn't remove that saying, oh, that's just the Mario Kart 7 gimmick and only stuck to zero gravity. They could have just been zero gravity for Mario Kart 8, but that would have been pretty bland. They combined everything and carried it over. That's that's what Sonic games never do. I don't know why. They never evolve. They just remove, downgrade, or add something new, or I just, I don't understand. Like, just imagine the team mechanics with the boating areas and the flying areas would have been amazing. Not every stage even needs that. You can have a couple stages that have there. Some stages that, you know, is just mostly driving and flying, or some that are driving and boating, or boating and flying. It would have really made things very interesting. 
and would have kept the variety so i don't know why like i said the team mechanics is very interesting i love it it's neat i love the wisp items i remember people were complaining about the wisp before yo i love the wisp back before it was cool you know and um i mean everyone was complaining about it before but i'm like look either sumo digital uses the wisps as items in team sonic racing or they just go for generic discount knockoff mario kart items i would rather have team sonic racing be unique on its own and original so I have the Wisp items. The Wisps are completely a Sonic thing. So I have that. So I love those things in the game. But everything else is just bland. And it's pretty, pretty graphics as usual. You know, Sega never fails with their graphics in Sonic games. But it's just kind of bland. I mean, I'm cool with the story. I like the story mode. And the Dompa is also pretty cool. I don't really know much about him. He does kind of look like he's carrying the Phantom Ruby on his crown and on the uh, his vehicle if you pay attention. But I never made a video about that because I can't prove it. I'm not going to say that's the Phantom Ruby just because it looks like it. And I know we've only seen three tracks. When I first saw Planet Wisp track or whatever it's called, Wisp Circuit, it was the first track. You know, it looks simple. But Mario Circuit looks simple too. Even Mario Kart 8. It was the first track, so I was totally cool with it. That's why I never said anything about it. But then we got to Ice Mountain, and Ice Mountain looks quite empty. With just like one or two alternate routes, but it still leads the same path. That was quite empty. And then we go to Street Market, which is based on Rooftop Run. And that looked really beautiful theme-wise. You know, I love Rooftop Run, but it still looked bland. And I'm like, okay, no, they're better than this. Rooftop Run is known for its alternate pathways, its awesome wacky level design, the whole European architecture. I love Rooftop Run because of this. It was an unleash and it was carried over to Generations. My opinion was even done better in Generations, just albeit short. And then we come to Street Market and it looks so empty. Like, okay, they drive on the top, you know, like on those tents and they come on the bottom. It's a little better than Planet Wisp or Wisp Circuit, but still, like, I'm going to have to see more from this game. It's just not impressing me and it has to. And I think I know the reason why, like Sega must have done something to streamline this game and cause Sumo Digital to downscale things because Sumo Digital is better than this. Even in the, the first game, All-Stars Racing game, it was still better and more, you know, creative with the level design than now. Like, is it because the price is now $40? Because I'm pretty sure the All-Stars Racing games were at least $50. I don't think they were $60, but they were $50. So if this is only $40, that makes me think the budget was cut or something sega must have done something and also the marketing is at an all-time low for this game like uh, i mean we've only got like one trailer for this game so far and i know it's just a racing a lot of people are like relax gamer guide it's just a racing game but i was hyped for racing transform and that was before they announced wreck it ralph would be in the game or denica patrick i don't even care about that i don't care about nascar racers i thought it was neat but so I just, from the first trailer, when you see Sonic driving in the background, you know, and then he goes to the boating and then the flying, I thought that was cool. But Team Sonic Racing, ever since the first teaser trailer dropped and the first trailer, and then we see the gameplay, that's it. We've barely gotten much announcements for this game, and I keep saying it's coming out in the winter, but when is it coming out? They haven't announced the release date, and it's almost October. Are we getting this in December, January? I really don't think it should come out anywhere close to Smash Ultimate because Smash Ultimate is going to murder this game in sales. Like, it's going to overshadow this game so much. Please, Sega, don't make a stupid decision. I will wait until next year. Release this game in January or February. After all, wasn't All Stars Racing Transformed? It came out in February 2013, I think. Or at least for the uh, handheld, the 3DS. So yeah, that's my uh, concerns with the game. What do you guys think? Are you concerned? Are you excited? I know some people are really excited after the whole TGS convention. And again, you know, Sega came with the ladies promoting the game and that just gave me flashbacks, bad flashbacks of Sonic Forces. But I want to know, what do you guys think about this game? Because I'm just not feeling it. You know, I don't know why, but I should be feeling it, but I'm not. And, you know, I bet people are going to prejudge this video and think I'm talking shit about this game. When I'm not, I've been very positive towards this game until now and i'm just saying that it looks kind of meh and underwhelming to me by no means that i say it's going to be bad but of course people are going to jump the gun and they're going to say oh you haven't played it yet and then start drama as usual you know it's like everything i say or do leads to controversy now and it needs to stop it really needs to stop because people need to watch and understand the full video before jumping the conclusions 
don't just read the title and assume what I'm going to say because the title could be clickbaity, it could be a joke or whatever, you know, and it's just annoying. I mean, just look at my Mario vs. Sonic video, like, that didn't need to have drama. I was quite fair with that game. And it's funny, one person said, why won't you, you know, why didn't you compare Odyssey with Forces? They came out the same year. It's like, uh, no, if I did that, Forces wouldn't have won anything, even the graphics, music, and story. So I gave Sonic a fighting chance with Unleashed. But whatever, I'm getting off topic and rambling, but... Alright guys, let me know what you think down below in the comments. Smash the like button, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. The Super Swag Bros. Z trailer is almost here. It's almost done. So I'm going to need y'all to smash that subscribe button. Try to get me to 40k subs and the trailer will drop. Alright guys, take care. And until next time, swag out.